Do we now have all? <laughs> Camera, microphone, and presentation. Do we have all? Uh, okay. Yes, please try with headphones as a last try to improve uh, your audio. Can you hear me now? It is not better, but yes, you can start. Oh, finally. I'm really sorry for this. I can't believe this happened because I, I tested everything many times. So you can hear me now, I guess. And if you don't see me, it's not important. It's important that you can see the presentation. So finally, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the second course of the Environmental Communication Online Program. Uh, I, I, there is no necessary to check uh, your points anymore. So as you know, your second course started uh, yesterday. And I thank you for signing up for uh, the course in such a large number. I hope you will cooperate well. Uh, tonight, uh, as you know, we will be attending webinar one, which will consider the important specifics and challenges of communicating in an age of ecological crisis. As you can see, and I, I guess you already know, knew it, uh, it's not very easy to hold courses online. Uh, personally, uh, I prefer live, but since today is Valentine's Day, and we have a meeting. I hope uh, you will, we will spend um, a pleasant time together. And if you're falling in love, <laughs> at least uh, I hope that we will have a good time. In that sense, thank you uh, to everyone who is here with me uh, tonight at the meeting. I appreciate that. And uh, sorry for, for those technical problems one more time. And happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I have already introduced myself, but uh, one more time, my name is Anita Trustovic and I work as an assistant professor at the University of Sarajevo, Faculty of Political Science, uh, Department of Journalism. Uh, I work uh, mainly on the communication and language group of courses, such as uh, uh, media uh, and communication, rhetoric and culture and speech, and journalistic stylistics. So my task in this course is to show you how to successfully and adequately communicate about environmental topics, that is, uh, how to communicate environmental topics from the position of the um, environmental expert or someone who reports on environmental topics. And also, I, uh, I guess the, the things that we are going to talk about tonight are things that you uh, already know. But uh, I will focus uh, the, the most important things that you could use, in, uh, especially in communicating uh, when you communicate uh, ecological uh, uh, topics, but uh, also in some other uh, situations. My attention uh, was that you will get a double uh, a benefit uh, from, from this course. Uh, so, in order to make a useful time that we have, I divided our course in uh, three, three parts. So, in the first part, we will going to talk about communicating with an age of ecological crisis, important, specific, and uh, challenges. And after that, I planned that we will have a discussion uh, discussion about uh, about our uh, lectures, so questions and co comments, and also it's not very strictly, so you will uh, be able to uh, put some comments uh, during the lectures, and also I will uh, ask you some questions so you can uh, put your comments. And let me see the comments. Can you hear me now better? Yes. 
Can you hear me better now? Just speak louder and keep the, uh, the dynamic of your speech. OK, so at the end, um, I, uh, I wanted uh, to give you some additional explanation for your assignment. I want to be sure that you uh, will uh, have all necessary information about your assignment so you can, uh, you can do it right. And description for uh, webinar one. Uh, so webinar one will be an introduction to communication in an age of ecological crisis. And there are some questions that it will uh, uh, answer on. Uh, what are the si significant specifics and challenges of the, this type of communications? What are the possibilities of adapting and approaching environmental topics to different types of public? And uh, also how to communicate about this topic with different types of public? Uh, what communication techniques can be used in the presentation of environmental topics? And it will be explained through examples of good and bad uh, communication presentation on environmental uh, topics. So I guess we, we can start. And uh, before we move uh, on to communication about environmental uh, topics, a few ten sentences about communication at all, uh, about communication in general. So uh, how would you describe uh, communication? If someone asks you how, how would you describe in one word, you can put your comments. So what is communication? How would you describe the communication in one word? Can you hear me? Presenting our ideas. Okay. Exchange. Yes. During every communication, we exchange something. Exchange of ideas, exchange of information. So exchange. Exchange of ideas. Okay. Do you have any idea? of exchanging words, information, etc. Yes. Okay, uh, you are all right. When we talk about uh, communications, body language is another way, yes. Nonverbal com communication, symbols and signals, yes. Understanding, yes. Uh, you are all right when you, when you say that. So uh, the communication is all and more message, yeah. Message exchanging opinions, yes. Everything. So communication is all of that and much, much more than that. So uh, when, we call, when we speak about uh, communication, uh, for, for example, uh, tonight uh, all of us are coming from different countries and uh, coming from different cities, we can say that we uh, speak different languages, we have different um, uh, opinion about... Okay, camera. Okay, we, we have a different opinions, we have a, a, a very uh, different um, attitudes about different things, and also we, a lot of things are different between us. But there is a one uh, thing that is uh, common for us. We all communicate. So we are all communicating uh, tonight. And uh, if you see the word communication, you will see that in the first part, we, we, we have a word common. So it's a process of exchanging information towards an agreed science system. And also the word communication, uh, as I said, literally means to make something general or common. So communication represents on one of the most significant phenomena in human activity. It's a, a, a key competence of the uh, 21st century. So uh, I, I'm sure that you heard what we have to, you heard what we have to do, what is the only thing that we have to, that we must. So it's to die, right? We all heard that and please add something uh, besides that the communicate. So the only two things that we have to is to die and to communicate. 
uh, language knowledge uh, language knowledge as a code competence and uh, is a code competence actually and the language use is a communication competence so the code competence would be everything what uh, what you know uh, the data uh, information uh, theoretical knowledge and everything uh, that, you, that you know and the language use as a communication comp competence would be skill so uh, would be the skills uh, how to uh, communicate all those uh, theoretical knowledge that you have. So communication uh, includes uh, three things, so personality, knowledge and skills. I already uh, told you about uh, knowledge. Oh my God. You don't understand me. Mm, then, what we can do? Yeah, I know. Because this, this, this wasn't. Okay. Professor, please continue with your lecture. Okay. And communication uh, uh, has three basic dimensions. As uh, oh, uh, sorry, I have to repeat this. So communication includes uh, three factors: uh, personality, knowledge, and skills. I already uh, t told you uh, about uh, knowledge. So the knowledge would be uh, theoretical knowledge, and it means what? And uh, skills would be how, how you communicate your, uh, your knowledge. And uh, also personality is uh, one very important thing. Uh, you will agree with me that uh, personality of some experts or uh, some communicators or some, um, I don't know, uh, some scientific uh, can be uh, very important when he or she uh, communicates some messages. And uh, there are three basic uh, dimensions, content, uh, form, and the goal. So the content uh, would be uh, what? The form, the form uh, would be, uh, the form would be, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm reading your comments. And the form would be uh, how? Uh, also, the uh, all communication uh, has the goal. So what is the goal? What we want to achieve? Uh, what what is our aim and several number related to communications i don't know did you know that uh, an impression of person is made in, in the first seven seconds uh, so uh, I, we will not discuss about is it true or false but uh, the the uh, the fact is that we uh, after only seven seconds we have impression of some person or some we, we have some impression or some opinion and uh, we usually uh, we are usually worried about what uh, we were going to say so what is important but not so important if we see the statistics some research uh, are shown uh, shown that uh, the, the how uh, is more important. So the, the words is only seven, and the, uh, the the way how you speak and how you look uh, during your speech is much more important. Of course, it's when we talk about oral communication. And uh, if we uh, we have only one chance to live. Yes, we have only one chance to live uh, our first impression. That that's true. So use that uh, chance on the right way. Don't have technical problems like I did. Uh, to remind ourselves, just uh, communication can be uh, oral, but also verbal or nonverbal and written. And also both types of communication have advantages and disadvantages. I'm, I'm sure that you heard about um, assertive communication. Uh, it's very important communication, but we will not uh, go in details uh, tonight, or maybe in some other occasion. And possible obstacles in communication. Uh, there are some obstacles that you could uh, find in uh, in communication, so uh, social uh, culture. Okay, thanks, thanks, God. I'm happy. 
So social culture, uh, group think, uh, conflict of values and beliefs, stereotypes and ethnocentrism, uh, language and jargon, uh, psychological, filtering, perceptions, defective memory, poor listening, emotional interference, uh, organizational overload of information, contradictory messages, uh, differences in status, uh, structural problems. So uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, possible obstacles that could find in communications. And uh, when we talk about overload of information, I think that we could uh, talk about this until tomorrow. So we are uh, all overloaded of uh, information and some, sometimes uh, we can hear the, the most important uh, messages. Uh, communicating about environmental topics or communicating environmental topics. So what is the difference between communication and communication on environmental uh, topics? Um, communicating, uh, communication about environmental is actually the communication with uh, all its importance and principles uh, faced with additional specific, specific uh, challenges, crisis situation, uh, etc. So it's more demanding. Uh, if we take into account that um, some experts or some uh, scientists uh, speak uh, in very crisis situation, then uh, then it's uh, more demanding than the regular uh, communicating uh, process. What are the important specific and challenges of communication in an age of ecological crisis? Uh, when we talk about importance, uh, topic of environmental includes uh, natural environmental and uh, physical and social environment, so flora and fauna, uh, cultural heritage as a part of environmental created by man. And uh, what is particularly important, uh, protection of environment and sustainable use of uh, natural resources, uh, managing environment, preventing environmental pollution, environmental integration uh, in other sectors such as uh, uh, tourism, energy industry, uh, agriculture, forestry, mining, traffic. And the other, uh, raising awareness and uh, getting public involved in process of decision making and implementation of protection measures. So uh, here is an example. Uh, everything what we produce couldn't uh, be made without energy or material. So uh, when we use a project once or stop using it, it becomes waste. And that waste uh, needs to be separated, recycled, used for production of uh, electrical or electric or heat energy. And then, only if nothing mentioned before is impossible, be safely disposed of. So, uh, these are messages that are important and need to be communicated. Uh, if you have any idea of uh, some messages that could be important and need to be communicated, you can uh, write it down in your com in, in comments. So, what uh, are the messages that are important? Uh, also, uh, when you try to describe communications, you said that uh, messages are uh, very important for communication. So, uh, the messages, um, we should pay attention on messages that we send. And also, why is uh, Communicate, communication on environmental importance. Organizations that offer solutions for ecological uh, challenges of, often don't possess a uh, mechanism to reach the uh, public. So they know they uh, usually uh, really uh, know what, but uh, sometimes they, uh, they don't know uh, how, how to communicate uh, those important information. Ecological communication campaign uh, can uh, strengthen uh, the public and raise the awareness about the problems that concern them. And also information about the environment often comes from official sources that are reporting on the environmental in, uh, environment in a fairly format or conservative way. So if you see uh, this picture, uh, you, you can see the information of which are messy, so messy messages, messy uh, informations. 
uh, that could be told on the uh, simple, uh, simple way as possible, as, as much as is possible. And yeah, that that is good. Um, that is good message. Saving our planet is now a communication challenge. Yeah. So that's the good uh, message. And why is communication on environment uh, important? Language of communication is often complicated or filled with uh, scientific and technical terminology. Uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's difficult to understand for regular citizens. So therefore, uh, the scientists and uh, other experts uh, should uh, translate that complicated technical formal language in a journalistic appropriate form uh, so that encourage so that uh, um, uh, language can encourage a wider audience to take action. So we, we send the picture in uh, first uh, is a little bit messy and the, the other is uh, not so confused and that's the way how we should communicate. And when we're talking about uh, specifics, uh, environmental communications, as uh, every other type of communication, is based on choice of correct words and picture to send important messages. So words and uh, uh, pictures uh, should be very carefully choose, uh, chosen that uh, so we can uh, send that important message. Uh, the thing is that uh, audience can hear just um, a first sentence and it's the most important sentence. So make sure that the most important thing will go in the first sentence. And environmental communications is a way of affecting ecological uh, public awareness. How does environmental communication uh, work? Environmental communication borrow elements, uh, borrows elements of uh, risk communications and uh, scientific uh, communications. Uh, I will not talk about uh, risk communication. You will have opportunity in, a, in the other uh, course uh, to, to listen about that. But I will just point that uh, it's not always connected. The risk communication is not always connected with uh, risks for environment. Uh, environmental communication uh, has a goal of educating public on uh, overcoming environmental uh, threats. It suggests how the public should reach the change, uh, changes that affect our uh, welfare and uh, welfare of the nature. And how does environmental communication uh, work? Uh, we are talking about that. Uh, so scientific uh, communication. Our environmental has a function to make science available to public, to media, to policy creators, and uh, provide access to science to uh, uh, other audience. It does uh, that for the protection uh, of environment. So if you look at the picture uh, on the right side, uh, you can see that scientists uh, need to communicate with uh, different groups, uh, different actors, uh, such as um, uh, journalists, uh, such as the media, so uh, with uh, PR, uh, press, uh, press officers, and also with uh, different kinds of public. Uh, scientists also uh, uh, communicate among themselves. So they, they have a lot of uh, facts. And when we talk about uh, challenges, uh, communication on environment is uh, meeting other platforms that are targeted on building relationships uh, with the audience. Uh, building relationships with the audience is uh, one of the challenges. Um, and good communicators are focused on meeting uh, the community of target audience and learning to speak their language. As we uh, previously said, that is very important. Uh, that all those um, uh, public can can reach what what are you going to communicate uh, and the most important messages. And here is one example. So uh, if you see, can you see uh, a <laughs> penguin? Uh, 
not many of us can relate photos of hungry penguin with climate crisis. For many of us, it's a, a distant topic. So if you say that uh, penguins are hungry and they don't have enough uh, fish to eat because uh, fishes are dying, uh, I'm not sure that how many uh, group of people will uh, be considered about that. Maybe just the society of um, protecting animals, but the other will not carry uh, as much as it could. So you have to uh, make this uh, message uh, understandable and more uh, acceptable for the, for the uh, different kind of um, uh, publics. So you would say that uh, we will not, uh, you, could say, you could say that we will not have uh, enough food, uh, I mean, we will not have enough um, fishes to eat because they are dying, and then maybe uh, that will be uh, understand uh, better. So therefore, uh, we need to focus on presenting real goals and uh, targeting the right audience. Only when we can move on uh, to rising public awareness and effective ecological communica communication campaigns. And what are the types of communication uh, that uh, to, the, to the public about the environment? Uh, types of communication on the environment can be from uh, officially published reports to conversation about nature to the ecological campaign. So there is no unique uh, way of communication about the environment, and every type has a different function, content, and context. Uh, in the type, there is one uh, rule uh, that said. Um, Socio-linguistic requests. So it means uh, who, to whom, in what occasion, uh, in what context uh, communicate. So every time when we communicate, we should ask ourselves uh, who, to whom, in what occasion are sending uh, the message. And it's it's important. So the context is always uh, very important. Uh, while conversation can inspire the uh, public to take action in pro-ecological behavior, official forms are more relevant for decision makers. So, um, uh, non-official communication would be uh, would be uh, great for uh, some, some public, but if, uh, if decision maker, uh, makers uh, speak about those uh, topics, then they will use official forms. And talking about scientists and experts, uh, there is a, a pressing need to increase the number of uh, scientists and experts that are properly uh, trained for communicating on the scientific uh, issues to the public in a simple format. So make it simple would be uh, another message. And uh, the, the C uh, the, the picture you can see uh, in front of you is one very uh, important picture and uh, interesting. Uh, yes, yes, I agree with you. So uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the the picture you can uh, see uh, has uh, some rules that you can uh, use. Uh, that uh, make it simple, as, as I said, it, it's very important. Uh, uh, also, as I said, the, the most important information you should uh, put in the, uh, at the beginning of your speech. So the, the messages that are important should be uh, in the important place, not uh, the last. And uh, also when we talk uh, to media, you have to uh, learn how to uh, how to use uh, the, the the time that you have. Uh, media uh, will not give you the, the whole time of the world. Uh, they will uh, just give you a few seconds to say uh, important things, and if you don't use those uh, seconds as as the opportunity of, of first impression you will not be able to communicate an uh, important message. They will just cut your speech and take uh, from context something that, that they, they, they think that is important. So use uh, that, um, that occasion. Uh, also, uh, the five, uh, uh, five years uh, old child 
uh, there is one rule. Uh, you should explain the things that uh, the five years uh, child uh, old uh, child can understand you. So if you can explain to him and he can understand you, you are on good way. And experts' communication include, includes uh, different skills and competences, ability to gain trust and to connect with the public. Uh, ability to explain complex concepts in a simple language, as we pointed. Upgrading on the topics of expertise while not talking about things that are outside of the area of expertise. Uh, talking about the uh, uh, outside of uh, the, the area of expertise is very dangerous, so just uh, always, uh, always uh, talk about the things that you know about. Uh, ability to use combinated uh, visual elements and storytelling to improve the efficiency of your messages, and ability to cope and communicate in crisis situations. Scientists, experts, and other communicators are on environmental topics uh, are very often in the crisis situation, so uh, they need to communicate with uh, different individuals and types of public. As we, as we said, so uh, that, that kind of communication is uh, more demanded. Uh, while uh, giving ecological information in a crisis situation, it's crucial to consider next questions. So uh, the questions that you can see uh, also can be uh, very useful for your assignment. So pay attention. The first question is, what is uh, what is communication uh, for? Uh, why is it important? Uh, what it tries to accomplish? Also important. What does the audience expect? Uh, sometimes we have to suggest what the audience expects. We can't uh, just uh, say the, the, the messages that we think that, that are important. We have to um, know what uh, the audience expects. And they uh, usually expect some explanations, some information, and uh, help in understanding the complex situation. Uh, also, uh, what facts or risks are being communicated? Uh, real facts solve the problem. Uh, this, uh, this is the question that we don't know always uh, the answer. Real facts solve the problem. We don't know that. It depends on um, on situation. And if there are solutions to the problem, and are uh, those solutions correct? So different kinds uh, of events uh, can lead uh, to environmental risk uh, crisis, and those events can be natural, man-made, or combination of uh, those two. As a basic uh, for uh, communicating the risk, communicate, communicators should know uh, what information people already possess, uh, why they are interested, and uh, what their needs are. So this is uh, connected uh, with uh, the question, what does the audience expect? And how to communicate environmental topics in a good way. Um, tonight, uh, mostly we are going to talk about how to communicate uh, environmental topics in a good way. And your uh, task uh, in your assignment will be uh, how to not communicate environmental topics or how to communicate environmental topics in a, a bad way. But we will talk about it later. And uh, when we talk about uh, communication of environmental topics, uh, we can uh, talk about communication in normal or extraordinary situation circumstances. And it, it's, it's not important uh, uh, if we talk about in uh, normal or extraordinary situation, it doesn't depend on uh, what the kind of situation is. Uh, the, uh, our goal, our aim, uh, our uh, achieve uh, is always the same. So bring uh, these topics uh, closer to ordinary citizens. Uh, that's our goal, and, and that goal doesn't depend uh, on the situation. Is it normal or extraordinary? If this is common, bringing these topics closer to ordinary citizens, that's the most important. And uh, 
are experts on environmental topics. Uh, scientists and experts for environment uh, protection have a very important role in presenting ecological cha uh, challenges. And the way of their communication is extremely important for understanding of complex uh, ecological uh, topics for ordinary citizens. And we, as we can see, uh, Ray, so it is uh, connected with personality that we mentioned at the beginning, so personality again. Experts on environmental topics Uh, environmental uh, uh, environment experts have an obligation to warn and speak and public is not aware of uh, hidden and threatening danger and then there is a need to speak uh, publicly about existing dangers. Politics, uh, drinking water, for example, wasted, uh, wasted waters, impact of dense plastic, air pollution, uh, use of solvent uh, and uh, other natural vessels, uh, waste, uh, climate changes, energy industry, health, problem, health problems are just some of many uh, essentially important topics of today. And also there are uh, much more than this, but those are just some of them. Experts on environmental topics, uh, the, this is about a, a point of view, as we can see uh, on the picture. The point of view is very important also. Uh, environmental uh, experts need to understand that individuals and groups have different perceptions and uh, definitions for environment uh, problems. Even though uh, the scientific uh, evidence play an important role in shaping perceptions. There are also cultural and social factors. For example, politics, uh, values, ideology, personal experience, education, education and economy. And I'm sure that uh, all of us could find some examples uh, in your environment, your country, your city, uh, when uh, politics um, uh, played important role in shaping of perceptions. So don't forget uh, those factors. I, I, this should be a uh, context of communication, politics, values, ideology, personal experience, educational economy, so that's the context. And uh, experts on environmental topics, uh, one of the most important impacts on perception uh, is one of the from, uh, one uh, from media. Media uh, plays a large uh, role in identifying, constructing, filtering, uh, filtering, uh, categorization, solving some ecological problems. Uh, also, they can include uh, some experts so that communication can be with or without uh, the help uh, from environment experts. And uh, the media, when we talk about the media, the media has an important role in raising awareness about ecology and understanding the problem of environmental protection. Uh, I'm sure that we could uh, talk about the power, power of media until tomorrow again, but uh, we will point to just the, the most important things tonight. Uh, media has expanded so much that uh, it can influence our impressions, feelings, and understanding uh, the world. Uh, in that context, there is one thing that we should, shouldn't forget, uh, and that is possibility of manipulation, media manipulation. And in this, this sense, what is very important, uh, media literacy uh, will play a very important role. And when we talk about uh, media literacy, uh, we have to um, think that we have to have on our mind that uh, media literacy doesn't have any uh, connection with the media, I mean with the um, uh, journalists or with the people who, who are sending messages. Uh, the media literacy has uh, only uh, connection with uh, ourselves, with uh, the uh, audience and the, with, uh, the, the way how we will understand the messages, how we will uh, analyze them, and uh, un uh, how 
what what are we going to do with those uh, informations? Will we uh, check those informations or just believe that everything that we see uh, or hear in media? How to improve uh, communication and in involvement uh, from experts in environmental topics? Uh, scientific and expert communications to begin with uh, needs to uh, shift to a simple com communication, as we uh, said before, adapted to different uh, types of public. Thereby, uh, we have four uh, aspects that we can um, uh, use for effective communication. So, connecting with the bigger picture will be, will be the first. Explaining, uh, explaining uh, the problem, adapting the communication, and choosing the language which will be suitable to the auditory and uh, context. So we will go uh, one by one. Uh, connecting, as you said, with the bigger picture implies that communicators, uh, some experts, or um, any other people who are talking about uh, those topics, depending on the target audience, uh, connect the environmental topic with uh, other topics on which it uh, has effect and to make uh, an individual to relate with the problem in order to get his or her attention. So remember our opinion, that's the way how we can connect uh, message with, with the people. Explaining the problem, explanatory uh, part of communication has a goal to bring uh, closer the very complex, sometimes very complex, scientific uh, concepts to different groups with accuracy and precision. And <clears throat> when we talk about uh, adaptation, adaptation uh, means that the communicator or expert firstly needs to choose an adequate communicating form. Also, uh, they need to choose a channel for giving in environmental topics and adequate form uh, for the channel of communication. So, uh, the uh, channel is also important. And when we talk about uh, chosen format of communication, uh, it is important that uh, we choose a linguistic and stylistic meaning. It needs to be appropriate to the context and understandable for different types of topics. So, linguistic and stylistic. Um, and uh, how to improve uh, your communication about environment uh, for public awareness. Uh, during the communication about environment, it's important to consider several factors. So those are uh, goals, location, audience, and the media and outlet. So goals, I will not uh, go in details because we defined it already that the goals are very uh, important. What are we going to accomplish? If the goals are more precisely defined, um, it, 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 it is always easier to imagine where the campaign might be needed and who uh, to address. And location. Uh, all information from affected uh, region leads to better targeted messages. So information on uh, where the problem is occurring can help us to better define target audience and the audience. Uh, we should learn more about demographic uh, uh, and about who has the capacity uh, uh, to change anything concerning uh, the problem to target uh, community, communities uh, rather than uh, individuals and learn how they react to different messages. So we, we need to meet um, and to know some information about the audience. As I mentioned before, we need uh, to know what uh, audience expected, what are uh, the, the messages and information and data that are important for uh, our audience. And of course, uh, media. Uh, it's very important uh, what kind of media we choose. So is it social media, podcast, uh, news, video, uh, blogs? And one more time, uh, it is uh, important to speak the language of the audience. Uh, and it has to be connected with the media that we choose. Uh, to see language, uh, to use 
um, uh, language which, uh, which target audience can connect in order to the message to be clear uh, to them. And uh, remember that uh, at the beginning of our presentation, we were talking about types of communication. So we said that we have verbal, nonverbal, uh, written, and visual communication. Uh, I will not go in details. Uh, everything what is important for uh, verbal communication can be applied um, uh, with, with to uh, environmental communication. I will just point uh, one thing. Uh, it says use active listening. Uh, listening is a very, very important and sometimes forgotten uh, skill. Uh, I some once I heard uh, one very good thing about uh, listening. I will try to paraphrase. Uh, if you are a good uh, listener, so if you uh, if you are listening well, you will uh, avoid yourself to say uh, more than you want, and also uh, allow uh, the other people to say uh, more than they, they want. The things that they don't want, they will, be, uh, they will say, and you will be uh, able to, to listen back. So the, the listening, I find the listening um, uh, as a very important skill. Also nonverbal. Communication, uh, we, we were talking about uh, the importance of nonverbal communications. So be attentional about your nonverbal communications. It can uh, distract the communications or it, uh, it can improve, improve uh, your communication. So uh, pay attention on nonverbal if you are uh, in uh, some kind of oral communication. Uh, visual, uh, we pointed also the importance of uh, visual communication as um, other before including visuals. So you should uh, ask people about uh, what what kind of communication they or, or you can uh, research that and also some important information you can put in some infographics and it will be uh, more than understandable. And written communication is very important. Uh, you can always return on your written uh, communications. You can um, update, uh, you can remind what did you say. Uh, so uh, you can always, and, and it, it's good to take time to view your written communications. You can lose it, uh, you can uh, use it uh, later. What are the environmental communication strategies? So the strategies include uh, those, those four. Uh, they will be uh, more than uh, useful if you use them. And also, uh, those strategies can be useful for your assignment. Um, we will talk about it later. Uh, I will not explain in detail all those strategies, uh, but I will point that uh, these strategies are also applicable, uh, applicable uh, to other environmental issues. So if you choose the right uh, and good strategy, uh, you will uh, have success in any other, any other uh, communication, uh, not just in environmental communication. And uh, what are examples of environmental communications? Uh, you, could, you, could, you, you could use uh, educating, alerting, uh, persuading, and collaborating. So the examples of uh, environmental uh, communication include those uh, four, four things, for effective communication uh, strategies. And environmental communication is uh, constitutive because it helps shape human understanding of uh, environmental issues, themselves and also uh, nature. In examples, include uh, values, attitudes, and other ideologies regarding nature and environmental issues. What are the forms uh, of environmental communication for the public? Environmental communication happens uh, online and offline, it depends on. So uh, we can use words, images, uh, videos, and the combination of all. Uh, with uh, 4.3 billion active internet users, 
uh, internet formats, uh, for, formats are becoming the most informative, educational, and influential uh, for the public. So don't forget the power of internet and use it. What are the forms of environmental communication for the public? Uh, that uh, range from online news, social media posts, and campaigns, images, and movies, as, as we mentioned. And the offline formats, uh, formats extend their reach to children or um, to books, newspaper, magazines, advertisements, stores, and many, uh, many more. And what are the forms of environmental communication for the public? Uh, we are still talking about that. No matter uh, the format, environmental uh, communication uh, tells powerful stories about the environment. So if we uh, choose storytelling uh, and support that with all verbal or non-verbal formats of communication, uh, uh, the environment sets the, the scene. And also, on the internet, we see movies or images that show the impact of the environmental change. Sometimes it's, we don't understand, so we need someone to uh, explain those information to us. And with words, uh, the stories can go deeper and leave a more uh, emotional impact. And uh, also, uh, don't forget the power of picture. Advertising and online marketing both uh, in, uh, borrow stories uh, that are related to environment and to the people uh, these campaigns target. And uh, by inspiring pro environmental behavior through, uh, uh, through uh, their campaigns, they also raise environmental awareness of the, uh, by the public. And to sum up, uh, environmental communication uh, needs to be uh, communicable, uh, reasonable, understandable, explainable, and acceptable. So I hope uh, if we excuse uh, our technical problems, I hope that uh, my uh, presentation was, was communicable, reasonable, understandable, explainable, and acceptable. If I reach it, uh, then I reach my goals. So thank you for uh, your attention. And uh, now, okay, you uh, put some very uh, interesting materials and, and comments. And also uh, in my um, in my presentation, I put uh, bibliography. Uh, those are uh, materials that you will use uh, for this uh, first week, so you can uh, take them in PDF. And of course, I uh, I should, uh, as as I said, as I promised, uh, I will give you uh, your additional explanation about your assignment if you agree. Uh, the deadline to complete the assignment is uh, February 19th, uh, Sunday, uh, one minute before midnight. And we always uh, become with a uh, deadline. So uh, please consider the fact that uh, this is a team assignment, but you already know that, and it needs to effective uh, team management. So uh, because you already have your groups, the first task would be to uh, choose a leader in your uh, group and also be, uh, be free to communicate with me, send me email. And I know this is a very short um, a deadline and you will uh, mostly, I, I guess so, I, you will mostly work uh, over weekends. So you can uh, email me uh, to at any time and I will try to help you if you have any uh, kind of uh, problems for, uh, uh, with your assignment. And if you have some problems with um, in group uh, with members, you can uh, email to uh, our tutor, Anna. And as you know, uh, the all team members uh, must work equally on every assignment and the team leader is responsible for the coordination and the timely delivery of the finished products. 
So just uh, be sure that you will upload um, your your assignments one minute before midnight on, on Sunday. Divided uh, into teams, uh, your task uh, is to choose a real company. Uh, I uh, put an accent on company. And uh, this is the company you will analyze uh, real life examples according to specific uh, segments and with uh, specific tasks. So uh, while you will use the same company in the, um, uh, the first and the second week, uh, we agree that it will help you uh, to reach the goals uh, easier. Uh, that's it's very important that you will use the company uh, that you understand uh, the work and the problems, etc. So you can use that the, the, uh, the same company in the uh, second week. And your third task in the first week is to find an example of bad communication presentation of environmental topics in a campaign of the chosen uh, company in the region and write arguments why that communication is bad. So tonight uh, we were talking about uh, uh, good examples of communication, what, what we should uh, use, that uh, our communication, uh, environmental communication can be uh, on proper way. But uh, your task is to find an uh, example of bad communication. And the assignment should provide answers to uh, all those uh, following questions, uh, 12 questions, so the, the, I will not uh, read them all. But uh, the important is uh, to define which company had a bad communication presentation of environmental topics. So it briefly uh, has to uh, describe the company and what, what it uh, does. And also, Yes, yes, environmental issues, of course. Uh, just Yelena. Oh, Yelena is my, my friend. <laughs> there are a lot of teams and maybe not so many examples. Teams. Okay, uh, yes, you can use European companies and also if, uh, two teams, uh, two groups uh, take the same company, it's, it's not a problem. We will not uh, describe uh, that in the same way. Yeah, yeah, yes, we can use the same examples. So it's, it's not uh, important if you, if you can't find uh, and some other examples, you can use the same examples. So I hope it will, it will make uh, things easier. And uh, those are uh, questions that you, you should provide an uh, answer on. And uh, the most important are uh, those, maybe those, uh, the, the last uh, two questions. Why is this an example of bad environmental communication? So take into account all those things that we are uh, talking about. And also uh, you can use uh, all materials that, you, that is uh, available to you, not just uh, this. Example of company. Uh, let me see. Please can give an example of company. Some of the information we need are not available online. For example, how can we know uh, without asking the company to answer the question? Okay, uh, you can use the resource uh, of the media. Uh, the, all, all those things that uh, you can uh, find in media. And if you have uh, any problem, uh, of uh, giving those information, you can uh, you can choose. Uh, for example, if you are from uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, you can choose the, the uh, some company that's uh, trying to um, produce something, and they uh, find in some crisis situations, and they didn't uh, communicate it well. So that could be uh, one example. And also, those are instructions for uh, the, the writing your uh, task. The, the word uh, limit is maximum of 1,000 words. Also, uh, yeah, you already know that uh, you have to uh, write self-evaluation. Uh -huh. uh, 
uh, what is the format of document? Uh, I uh, put it here. Uh, so you can uh, put in PDF or in Word document. You can use Word document if it's easier for you. Uh, and uh, here is uh, instruction for uh, word limit and the instruction for uh, font, font size, spacing, only in PDF. Okay, sorry, Diane, only PDF. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, so we, we, uh, we decided that we be in PDF. Okay, and also, uh, you know that you have to uh, make self evaluation uh, that will help uh, us with an evaluating routine work. Uh, I mentioned that if you have any problems of, um, of, uh, in, in groups, in a team, you can, uh, you can email to our tutor Anna. Um, students who will not participate equally in the team assignment will receive a lower grade. Uh, so you have to be honest uh, how many, uh, what did you uh, do uh, in your assignment. And for this assignment, you can receive up to 25 points. Also, form is available to you, but I prefer if you can, uh, you can, uh, as, I, as I told you, you can uh, be free to email to me and I can uh, help you with greenwashing. Yes, you can, you can use that example. Yeah, bad example. You can use bad examples, and also you can uh, use uh, uh, you can show the bad uh, communication during a bad uh, bad com uh, company. And that's it. So I tried to uh, finish earlier. What about political campaigns? Uh, question. Uh, let me. Can we have the presentation attached on the platform? Yes. Uh, you will have the presentation, and I uh, will see with uh, them if it is necessary. I can. I can uh, presentation. I, I can make the presentation one more time, so you can record and uh, put it. Uh, because I I don't know if the sound okay. So we will see that, but you will have the presentation uh, attached on the platform, of course. Let me see. Again. Yeah, uh, you can uh, take uh, those examples. They are very good examples. Okay, so be comfortable uh, to uh, send me an uh, email uh, when you when you uh, start your uh, process uh, with um, your assignment. So I can help you to, to choose the, maybe the right uh, example and uh, to help you to answer on those questions. So be, be comfortable to ask me everything I will answer in uh, maybe a few hours. So I will be available uh, in the next uh, seven days, no, seven, but six, Six days for you for any questions. Uh, I'm, I'm really uh, happy that you will um, you will uh, answer uh, the assignment on the right day. The environmental uh, television company and annual development funds are really used to choose environmental organization. Uh, you can uh, use any company and annual environmental funds. Yes. You can use any uh, company. It doesn't have has to be an environmental uh, organization uh, because because the, if the company uh, have environmental uh, communications, like then it's it's perfect. But just it has to be uh, a private. Yeah, that's that's what that was the I wanted to find. Uh, the first idea was that you could uh, choose a public company, a public organization, or, or something. But as I said, because you will need uh, the uh, private company in the second, to analyze the private company in the second week, 
uh, we uh, decided to make things easier for you so that you can uh, use the same company for two weeks for analyzing. And that's the reason why we decided that it could be, uh, it should be, uh, yeah, worldwide or regional. It doesn't matter. You can, you can choose it. Thank you. And I put uh, the, the excellent ladies here. Thank you. I'm, I'm really uh, sorry for these technical problems and I, I borrowed some, uh, some <laughs> equipment for, uh, to, to take this presentation. I hope uh, I will have opportunity to, to do it sometimes in a better way. So to show how to communicate. Thank you. Thank you all, and thank you uh, all for being with me uh, <laughs> in Valentine's uh, Day. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Simon. Bye-bye. Yeah.